Breaking news this morning, security guard at a middle school in Margate under arrest is facing serious charges. Yeah, police accusing him of bringing a student to his home and undressing in front of her with his own children in the next room. Local 10's Trent Kelly live this morning at the Broward County Jail where that suspect is being held. Trent. Yeah, Eric, that former school security guard now waking up here at the Broward County Jail this morning. That's after after he was booked on Monday night on numerous molestation charges. Let's go ahead and take you now to his mugshot. This is 31 year old Maurice St. Michael Powell of Tamarack. We're told Powell, who worked as a campus monitor at Margate Middle School, is accused of sexually abusing a 15 year old girl at his home earlier this week, all while his two teenage daughters were sleeping in another room. According to his arrest report, the teenage victim allegedly recorded Powell walking around naked in front of her. They say he also began to inappropriately touch himself after telling the teen that he was quote a nudist and that he liked being seen by people. After making the victim promise not to tell anyone, police say she later sent text messages to her own mother telling her what happened. That of course led police to get involved. Now Powell did appear in bond court yesterday on five felony counts, including molestation on a minor as well as a firearms charge as police say Powell was carrying a gun when this incident allegedly took place. The judge yesterday finding probable cause in this case before setting Powell's total bond at $175,000. Now for their part, we did receive a statement from the school district a short time ago. They tell us, quote, at Broward County Public Schools, student safety is our top priority. They say this individual is immediately being reassigned from campus monitor duties and will be away from students back out here live outside the jail again. Powell still booked here at the Broward County Jail as of this morning. If he does get released on bond, the judge yesterday ordered he have no contact with the victim in this case or any other juvenile. Powell also will not be allowed to carry a firearm either. Uh, of course, this is a developing story and will bring you any additional information we learn in this case as soon as we get it. But for now, that is the very latest live from downtown Fort Lauderdale. I'm Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.